All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to find the inverse of this function. Now, the function that we have is p of x is equal to x to the third plus 5 raised to the one-third power is plus 3. So let's rewrite this to where it's got nicer looking terms. Well, anything of x, so in this case, p of x, that's considered our y value, okay, equals, well, we have x to the third plus 5 to the one-third. Well, anything raised to the one-third power, that's the same thing as the cube root of x to the third plus 5. And then we still have this plus 3 on the outside. Okay, we just rewrote it to where the terms look a little bit nicer. Now, when we find the inverse, we swap our x's and y's. So when we swap it, we have x equals the cube root of y to the third plus 5 plus 3 on the outside. So now, whenever we find the inverse, we got to go ahead and solve for our new y value. So, we're going to subtract 3 on both sides. So x minus 3 equals the cube root of y to the third plus 5. Now, to unravel or undo that cube root, we got to take the third power on both sides. So when we take the third power, we raise both sides to the third power, okay, which in turn cancels out this three and this three right here, which means it cancels out the whole root. So what we have left is an x minus three to the third power equals y to the third plus five. Now, to get the y to the third by itself, we got to subtract 5 on both sides. So we have x minus 3 to the third power minus 5 equals y to the third. Now, in order for us to get the y value by itself, here we're going to take the cube root on both sides. All right. Now, what a lot of people want to do, the cube root and the cube normally would cancel out, okay? That's fine. That's understandable. However, that's not the only thing we're taking the cube root of on the left-hand side. We have this minus 5 here, so we can't just go ahead and cancel the cube root and the 3. We have to take into account the 5, meaning you can't actually take the cube root of all that. So, at the very end, your final answer would be the cube root of all that jazz on the left side. x minus 3 to the third minus 5 equals y. That would be the inverse of your p of x function. So as Hawks or any other computer program that you use, as how they would have it written, p with a negative 1 as the exponent, or superscript as they like to say it, p of x, so your inverse would be the cube root of x minus 3 to the third power minus 5. Okay? That would be the inverse of your original p of x function.